This is Gary Butterfield. This is Cole Ross. And this is Monster in My Podcast. And these are the Thralls of Cthulhu. There's a monster in my podcast. Uh, kind of rhymes, thrall and call. No, these guys, they're priests and uh, just adherents to Cthulhu. You know, they're, they're up there in his entourage. And to say how much they love Cthulhu, they're like, I'll give up all my appearance. I'll become a fleshy sponge thing for you, yep. baby. They 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 stay as themselves, unlike a lot of these. Like, not the daughters of Alaknaka. Like, right. these things actually just are themselves. They just turn into this weird, you know, again, spongy thing mm-hmm. here. This is this is definitely like from post Lovecraft Cthulhu mythos. This is a Brian, another Brian Lumley story, but it's from the fairground horror. <laughs> like, I, I gotta read that, man. Like, yeah. like those compilations of all the Cthulhu things, like, like, da, 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 you know, I don't know what what how the fairground plays into this. See, here's the thing, though. I wonder if it's like a carnival thing because why I hear fairground, then I think of the only time I ever go to a fairground, which is you know for a you know carnival kind of thing. Um, yeah. It could also be like you know the you know a the, swap the, meet, yeah, like like a yeah. swap meet. Um, uh, lots of estate auctions happen at fairgrounds yeah, too. Yeah. Uh, livestock the judging. The estate sale does not sound like <laughs> a good. You know, Although an estate sale does sound like a setup for, you know, finding an artifact that would take you. Thing, yeah. yeah. Um, the, uh, I love the, the text of this when I talk about it, where it's like, you know, it's one of his friends, which or somebody he knew, mm-hmm. uh, the thing that had been his brother, you know, which now where the top of his head had been wore a cap of writhing white worms of finger mm-hmm. thickness, like some monstrous sea enemy, uh, sucking vampirishly at the still living brain. Mm. That's good pretty good yeah see i don't know why you would want to become one of these like you do get uh, additional stats you seem so much more fragile and also you have to have somebody like just uh like um sponge bathing you the entire time because well, you got that you're, skin you're, membrane kind of thing you're super not fragile like if, if you are killed by anything physical you just turn into a fart and then come back to life yeah and that's the like, thing like fully reformed if you die from magic then you die yeah and as you get older you can only reform if you're submerged in salt water uh, and then eventually as, as, you, you retire to live beneath the sea yeah and yeah. you just go and you, you probably are serving the deep ones who have to serve the star spawn who have to serve the watchers yeah i know out of you the way know? out of the way old man when yeah, you say not- <laughs> when you say you turn into a fart uh you're really underselling it when you, know, when you die you turn into a cloud of gray foul smelling gas yeah. <laughs> yeah, you literally like turn into a fart that then reconstitutes. Yeah, like your punishment for dying is you have to live as a fart for a short time. Yeah, I, I guess I just yeah. p- I picture these guys having the consistency of wet bread. Yeah, that's probably <laughs> about right. They're probably real disgusting. Yeah, you know, like it's a uh, all these things, all these dark gifts and things you could you could take up in this. Like the, the a good reason not to do them is you'd never get laid again. Well, I mean, that that specifically, you know, brought here. Thralls retain their previous sexual char- characteristics, but the distorted organs are sterile. They don't say non-functional. I think that you yeah. end up having, like, crazy cult sex. Yeah, maybe, but only with other wet bread golems. Well, yeah. You know, no, mean, I guess that's not true, though. There probably are, like, insane cultists who, like, you know, their, their wires are crossed. That's their thing. Yeah, that's their thing. Like, it's just yeah. like, oh, this is, you know, I'm closer to Cthulhu, so that turns me on a lot. Yeah. You know, it just like, um, like it, it's very hard for me to look at this this transformation as anything other than a punishment. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it seems like. Yeah. and most of them are right. This is this is an unusual one. Yeah, this is one that you undertake um, uh, willingly. You have to go mm-hmm. to great uh, great great lengths to do this. But yeah, yeah just you know, I, I, you know, eventually it's, there, there, there's there, there's plenty of fishmen in the sea. You're gonna find somebody to you know to to, to squash your wet bread against. Yeah, yeah, you just, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it's interesting that uh, once you do this, certain skills can never improve. Mm-hmm. And once you turn into this thing, you can no longer use bargain, climb, credit rating, which I know <laughs> what that skill means, but it's very funny that they had to say that you can't actually like, you know, can you present some ID? <laughs> 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 um, credit rating, at, at, uh, fast talk, first aid, persuade and ride. <laughs> Like you lose the ability to ride a horse because you are made of wet bread. <laughs> Very funny. I guess being poured into a saddlebag is not riding. <laughs> so. <laughs> Brought to you by our backers at patreon.com slash duckfeedtv. TV.